Hello everyone, this is Fallen Dice, and welcome to episode 6 of Burp Craft Feed the Beast with Fallen Dice Season 2. So, uh, just finished with the, uh, the Dragon Death. Short episode, which was nice. Um, and I want to get to the Ender Ender soon, but obviously we need a bit of resources. And to do that, I need to tech up. So, um, the two episodes ago, we ran power into here. So we've got our industrial craft power into here. I need to run our build craft power to there as well. And then it's time to start our basic engines. So the first thing we want to do is processing, because I've got all of this, you know, I've did some more mining, so I've got a lot of iron. Not a lot of copper, though. That's an issue I'm definitely having, so I'm going to have to go back and f start another mine. It's just, it's hard to mine in the area where you find copper because there is no gold, there is no diamond, there is no redstone. So you're pretty much kind of mining for that. Uh, if I can find a good, um, a good plains area nearby, I'll have to do some looking, but if I can do that then I might actually put one there because the uh, bauxite only spawns up there and I will need more bauxite for the uh, aluminum uh, the drag tech version not the uh, uh, where is it this one yeah not this not the stuff here that is the good stuff that isn't so anyway that's the purpose I have a bit of bauxite that I found earlier so I've got some for now but I'm going to need more. And like I said, I'm also going to need more copper. Uh, down here, I've set up some automatic workbenches to kind of hold the materials for some of the stuff that we need to make to kind of get moving ahead. Um, and I'll probably leave a lot of those in. Once I get the recipe to make one of these, I'll leave the recipe in there and try to have at least a backup of all these different items and stuff. So, anyway, with that, the plan for today is, uh, like I said, we want to build an automate and, and do some processing. So we're going to do some of the automatic uh, Greg Tech machines. Uh, so, you know, the automatic macerator, automatic compressor, automatic e-furnace, um, and the, of course, throw in the rolling, or the plate bending, or plate, I think it's a plate bending machine. I had to look it up. Uh, well, let's find out. I'll find it real quick, but the so I can make my plates. Yeah, it is plate bending machine, so I need that. Um, and I want to do a lot of that in here. And I've realized that some of these are multi-block ones, so I'm going to make this my first multi-block room. So I have room for four multi-blocks in here, and with the way they work, I can put them on multiple sides, so I can run three off of a multi-block if I want to to have multiples of each one. So when we get to that, we'll do that in there. Um, I am going to need a laser room at some point. Um, this is probably what I'll end up going with because it's the smallest room. I'm not going to need a giant laser room like, like before. Um, and if I need more power between now and when we up, you know, upgrade, then I might consider maybe over here. I can already, as far as um, industrial craft, I can throw another set of engines underneath there and link them up to the same pipeline right here. So that is also a possibility as well. But uh, first off, basic machines. Um, and I'm thinking to maybe a centrifuge. But for now, let's just do the basic. I want to set up the automatic system so I can take um, and throw my, my uh, raw ore into a hopper and then have it come out as plates. So for now, so we'll end up doing the automatic macerator connected to the automatic e-furnace connected to, well, actually, I think we'll connect it to the comp compressor right now so we can turn them all into blocks. Um, yeah, sounds like a good one. Um, we'll also be making like a pulverizer and some of the other stuff with that first. So um, let me get those made first. Like I said, we've got kind of the startings of some things. I'll do this off camera because um, I'm really not. We're not going to do that kind of a LP this time around, where we're showing off the recipes each time and everything. Uh, FTB's been around, I think, long enough for this to, you know, not to be new things. So 
I'll build my machines and then we'll come back and we'll kind of see how we want to actually fit them in and place them to kind of work this room and actually give it kind of a uh, personality I guess you could say so anyway let me take care of that and I will be right back okay we are ready to go uh, in the process of getting ready I actually ended up uh, completing my redstone energy cell wall although I am actually gonna end up having to pull some of this out because the plan will be to use these as buffers in front of certain machines so that when I run them um, it's not pulling off from the same area because I prefer to have that even though these conduits can really run a lot of power through it's just kind of nice to have it at the end of each one as you can see down there there is another floor there uh, Jaron came by he wanted some more cobble he's trying to go for the largest possible cobble that you can make and what is that thing called it gets ridiculous because you know we have the compressed cobble oh yeah so you have compressed double triple well you get up to here this is the octuple compressed cobblestone 43 million cobblestone in one block <laughs> he's trying to make that so that takes a quite a bit of work so he I, I told him yeah I have plenty of cobble it's it's underneath my house so I'll even give you a couple picks <laughs> I was only kidding but he actually came over and cleared it out so I gave him some more extra on top of that as well. He, he, it was just kind of a joke, but uh, I really appreciated it. So now I actually have, it'll be a whole lot easier for me to run all the power down here. We can keep it ugly looking. It doesn't need to be pretty. This is just a uh, way of accessing. Also, as you can see, I have a portal gun. That was a gift from A-Town. Uh, I guess he made a bunch of these using the thumb craft, so that was awesome. I appreciated it. So now I've got a quick way to go back and forth to town. So cool. All right, let's see what's going on in chat. Uh, MFE, MFEs are cheap. <laughs> oh, anyway, <laughs> there we are. Uh, I I had so many resources kind of uh, saved up that it was actually. I didn't need to go back and forth to town a lot to, to make all these, but I, I actually had the resources, which is cool. Now, I don't have the, uh, I always forget what they're called, but the uh, the shells for these. So I'm going to wait until I have my stuff set up so I can start to process all the, uh, the stuff I have over here. Because some of the things I don't even have access to yet without running over to Renevo's or Ekater's. I really want to just kind of do this on my own. So, let's see. The first things I wanted to do, though, I do need a compressor. Oh, let me get, my inventory is a little bit full at the moment. Uh, uh. All right, so we want the compressor, the furnace. Uh, that'll be later. That'll be later. The macerator into the e-furnace into the compressor and that'll give us blocks of stuff that I can do on the side so that's gonna be our first part that's for later we'll set up a pulverizer as a separate just to make uh, the dust and did I make anything else for cooking I may end up making like uh, some other kind of furnace as well maybe the uh, induction furnace that way I can just throw the, uh, the dust that I get from the pulverizer into there when I'm not wanting to actually make the uh, blocks. Let's see, that'll be later. Uh, okay, so we'll go with these two for right now. And the cool thing about these is again, they actually kind of feed into each other. So we set them like that, like that, and like that. And by pressing this button, we're going to tell it that we want it to uh, share power. Um, which I really don't actually honestly need to, because I could pretty much run them right into each other. But now I'm actually nervous, because I'm pretty sure these all take that. They don't have it. None of these are the ones with the... Uh, 
the upgrade sections. Although with the new machines here, there are actually things you right click onto the machine and it sticks with it permanently. So you know what? Let me check this real fast. I, I want to make sure I don't blow these up because these are so expensive now. <laughs> Before it was just annoying. Now it would probably make me cry. So <laughs> hold on one sec while I check this out. All right. We did need to actually adjust this. So let me head downstairs and I'll show you what I kind of did. Um, we took our MFE here and why are we out of power right now? There's definitely, oh, I know why. When I was playing around, I changed the output side. I was actually trying to charge this in the workbench and I clicked on it and it stopped actually outputting. So now if I come over here, we should once again, okay, there we go, good. All right, so it comes from our MFE, feeds over here into this low voltage transformer, which then feeds into these bat boxes. So these are all sitting here at 40,000 EU inside of it. And then of course they're getting charged from over here. Oops, and with our, our LV transformer. Um, and I can basically, I probably, We'll run this back this way for some of the other ones as well. Um, but let me head up here and kind of show you then what we did. So with that in place, I basically also had to make sure I had the uh, square output for each one of these machines pointing inward. So right now I've got four iron blocks. I put in, um, was it 18 iron ore, uh, iron ore into here and then it went through the whole process into here and placed it into this box. Now I can come over here and take all of these and actually let's go ahead and get rid of this and set you in here. I set this up as a way we can store the uh, blocks but also as a way to center the uh, finish or blend the room so we got a chest on either side it kinda it matches it looks I, in my mind, it makes it all fit. Now, I'm gonna probably leave some of this stuff in here. <laughs> now nah, I better take it all out. All right. So now the next thing is we've got these machines here: the rolling machine, the plate bending machine, and the pulverizer are going to be our low, low tier thing. And I'm thinking of putting them on this wall right here. And I'll do something similar with chests like I did over there. So it all kind of blends in. Um, the only thing I'm going to have to run power to for EU is going to be this one. The other ones are going to be basically redstone coming in. And then all these machines here are also all EU. So the only redstone I'm going to need right now is going to be right here. And then I'll probably do something with these five machines. So maybe like one, two, three, four. I'll, I'll figure something out. Space between here and here. And like maybe a block in between. And I'll since most of these have the output thing, I probably am going to put like a chest between each one of these so they can actually feed into these chests as well. So let me do a little playing around in here, set this up. Like I said, right now this is already functioning. Uh, let me put these other items in here and kind of kind of plan this room out here. And then the other two that I don't have yet are over here, and that's because they require the casings, which I'm going to wait until I get this all set up so I can make these casings a little cheaper and easier. Well, not cheaper, but easier than running back and forth to spawn. So let me play with this just for a little bit and I will be right back. Okay, here we are. Everything is now put in place. Uh, bending machine, the pulverizer, and the rolling machine. Now, what I did forget, however, was that I also needed to uh, put in the magna, magma crucible and liquid transposer so I can make the uh, redstone energy cells and, and such. So, the plan is we're going to put the wire mill, the extractor, and the alloy smelter like basically here, here, and here. The magma crucible will go here. I'm going to put some tanks here to store some of the excess so it's not just what's in the uh, actual liquid transposer. So we can have a little bit of a backup. And then over here with the transposer, and then we'll put in the industrial centrifuge and electrolyzer on there. And that will complete the room. Um, underneath, show you real fast. I had to run a pretty long 
cable for the MJ power. But now that we're actually adding in those, it's a good thing that I'm about to add a little bit more. Those won't be the only two machines receiving redstone power now. But as soon as I do that, we should be good to go. I won't need to make any more trips at the moment to spawn. And then once I go through here, which I probably should just start doing right now, I should actually be having this, this sucker run in a bit. Actually, I don't know why I grabbed two stacks. I can only put in one. Or I mean four when I can put in two. There we go. So we'll get some of our iron going. And then I'm going to go ahead and place these out. I still need to make... Uh, let's see. Uh, what is it going to cost to make these items? The magma crucible... Actually really easy to make. That's good. And the liquid transposer. Oh, actually, that's pretty easy to make as well. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to make those real fast off camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and place all these things in line. So we'll kind of take a look at kind of what the feel for this room is. And I'm probably going to get rid of these. I don't want those aren't going to be there. I just... I needed to store the extra stuff and where, you know, the items so my inventory wasn't completely cluttered. But yeah, let me take care of that real fast and I will be right back. And the room is now complete. Uh, over here, I've just finished filling this up. I have this switch here, which is over, and this is an empty block back here with a piece of redstone down. So this is set to be enabled with a redstone signal. So when this is on, it basically starts melting our redstone into here. Here's a reservoir and then it automatically pumps it over here. There's an actual pipe back here with the wood engine underneath that's also powered with the same redstone. So it then pumps it right into here. Uh, eventually when I want to make the tesseracts and things I'll make have to make like a section, second one of these or maybe I'll be moved on to bigger and better things by then. We'll see. But for now just that. Um, been electrolyzing my bauxite. I've already got a stack of aluminum dust, almost a stack of hydrogen cells, so we're doing good on that. Industrial centrifuge, I'm still not sure exactly what I'm going to make with this. I'll check. There's certain recipes where I know I've needed it, so it's here for me when I need it. Um, the extractor, our alloy smelter, and then this beauty, the wire mill. So normally if you take three ingots across the bottom you'll get six wire so that's a two wire per ingot if you use this you actually get three wires per ingot so it's a 50 percent increase so for especially when you're you, something like copper which kind of is a pain to come by since it's only spawns above 40 i think and usually when you cave you're down low so it's nice to stretch that out that's still good uh, over here we're still good on our stuff here so yeah we're we're moving right along uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is back over here is our last two industrial machines but those require the casings so I my plan is is to continue to work through my back stock of ores get all the materials out of those and then we'll make our casings and do that so that's kind of what I'm gonna do now here for a little bit is I'm gonna work on getting my ores processed and ready to go then we'll build those last two machines and maybe even think about building a uh, mate or not mate a quarry but again before we do that we need to actually kind of get some tesseracts because we're not going to want to be running power or trying to set up sterling engines to do it or something like that we're going to want to do something better than that so i may hold off on quarries till our next episode and for this one just get the rest of our processing in place yeah that sounds good so yeah, so let me do that. Let me take some time here to kind of work through this, and then I'll come back when we're ready to move on to the next room over there. And that should be the end of this episode. So I will be back in a few. Okay, I've gotten the supplies we need. So we're about ready to continue on. A couple little additions I made in the room. I finally did put in some hoppers. And over here on our rolling machine, I actually enabled the uh, inventory out and moved it over here so it actually put this items into our chest here and what that did is it allowed me to actually run a lot more through when I wasn't you know right there to grab the items 
Uh, right here, I added another MFE for the sole purpose of recharging this or once I get some good armor, the armor in there. And then just because this was always in operation, it looks like I finally am done with this. Got the last four lead in there. I added in an actual good old fashioned induction furnace. And plus it's 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 high speed. So when I need to come in and, and you know get a little bit of lead, throw it in there. There we go. I've got my lead. And then of course we'll throw it right back in there. <laughs> so this is now complete. Actually, let me dump this over here. I don't need this. I don't need it in my life. All right, so over here, I went ahead and kind of prepared underneath <laughs> uh, power. So these are both now connected and they charged up rather quickly. We're gonna set our uh, grinder and our blast furnaces here and here with the uh, bodies going around over there. Um, I have it set though so I can set another one here and here and then if I want to I can also put one on the back there and there. I could actually have four off each one of these if I wanted to do large amounts. I don't think I will. If anything, the one extra would probably be as much as I would need. But for now we're just doing the basic, just the singles. Now the question is, and let me pull this out because I'm going to need, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to need you. I need to remember which one goes on the ground and which one goes up top. And actually, I think it's the blast furnace that goes on the ground, I'm pretty sure. So let's see, if I place you there, I uh, should be able to look you up. Yep. Yeah, you're the four, so it goes on the bottom, which means this one actually is going to have to go up one layer. Luckily, I can take my fancy blocks that we now have and kind of make something that looks a little bit better than the wire sticking up out of the floor. So let's see, we'll grab you first. Because all I need is one more piece of this. And I've been waiting on the industrial grinder. This is the only ores I haven't yet to go through just because the grinder's gonna give me some stuff out of these that I really, really want. So I kind of held off just so that I could get the good stuff. Okay, we'll stick you there, 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 there. Now we'll put you up here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Darn it. Uh, let's see, let's do that, and now I can put it where I want. But now I, <laughs> I'll have to go back and re-charge uh, up my wrench. Okay, so let's see. You're first because I want to get some stuff grinding. And I'm going to end up putting a chest on the side here. That's one thing I'll have to look up. I know that there's different plates you can put on here and that'll allow us to actually pump the items out into a chest so that I can put a hopper up top, chest on the side, and then be able to let this do a lot of work when I'm not around. So this one starts off with nine on the bottom just like this and then it's going to be hollow up top with our reinforced and it probably should have given me a, a ladder and then I believe it's just this I don't think this requires lava in here for the grinder I think the grinder is just an empty spot the blast furnace I know is going to require a grinder. Hmm. Or was it water I needed in there? Because it's not ready. That was not it. Let's see. My guess is it probably was water then. It is blue. Now on this one, it does show red. It's got to be water. So let's run over and grab a bucket of water real quick and try that. Does that eat a little bit? I'm excited to get to use that. I've been waiting for a while. And I ran all the way over here, and if I'm not mistaken, I have water out there the whole time. Ah, quickly, quickly. I want to get this thing running. Just because there's some of the items that I can only get by building this. 
that go green? It did. Sweet. Okay, we are now ready to put our first items inside. Now, do I need a... Let's check recipes. Uh, let's see. Do I do I need water for everything? Uh, it looks like I do. Hmm. And I don't want to use cells because that's one of the things I've realized that I've been running very low on my tin. All right, we're going to have to pump water into this thing. All right, so we're not quite ready to do this one yet. But in the meantime, we can get to this one. And the way I have it set up right now with these blocks is this is the least amount of blocks I can use of the standard to get it up hot enough to be able to uh, cook my chrome dust. Once I cook my chrome dust, I can make, is it casing? No, coil. Then I can make these two heating coils. Both of them need chrome. And with the, those, I can actually place them on the uh, blast furnace here, and it'll actually up the heat, and I get up to 3,000 that way, so it'll cook a lot faster. So, it doesn't matter what order we put them, so I'm thinking to put the good ones on the bottom. I don't know why. We just will. So there's nine. And I'll put the other three in the back. Now I am going to have to get some lava because I'm going to need two buckets worth of lava. And I bet you I've only got one. That be peak. And if I do, um, I know I have some down below. Oh wait. <laughs> Never mind. I'll just take this one and we'll just replace the item frame with an empty bucket for now just so we can continue this and then actually <laughs> uh, I have lots of lava on the wall over there I could have just gone right over to my tanks there and filled it up that way but that's okay actually, let's get some dirt so we can get up high enough let's see make sure I can reach first one goes there there. Alright, we'll add our final blocks here. And we're green. And we're at 1760, so actually I have more than I needed. I just needed to get to 1700 to be able to do my chrome. And it looks ugly. It really does. <laughs> but that's okay. So now... Go grab my chrome dust just so I can make my ingots. I've been waiting. That's some platinum too. So we'll throw that in, and we got the finally got our base materials we've been needing. There we go. And all I'm going to take with this chrome dust is I'm just going to make these heating coils just so I can speed this up, get it as fast as I possibly can. I may come back later when I start getting more items, and maybe we'll change this around so it will put that on this back side here so it's just one color on the bottom and then we see the other stuff up top but anyway that looks good I suppose I could just go grab a couple buckets of water let's do that well we'll, we'll use it for the first couple items here just so we can make I, I want to see it work <laughs> And luckily, I'm surrounded by water. I would have laughed if I'd ran all the way to some silly place like Spawn or something trying to get water when I'm <laughs> completely underwater and surrounded by water in every different direction, have a lake and a river. But I would never do something silly like that. Never. Alrighty. We are almost there. I think I'm going to put some gold in. It's going to be the first thing I do go. So yes, we'll take some gold and we'll throw you in there. That'll give us two of them. It's pretty quick actually. That's a lot faster than I was thinking. So out of that we got two gold dust, a tiny pile of copper, and a tiny pile of nickel. Cool. 
And over here, we have some shiny chrome ingots. So basically, we are pretty much good to go on this. Uh, let's see. Let's come back over here. Um, I am going to be needing to do a second of these. Because the next thing I want to do in our next episode is I want a quarry. And like I said, I need Tesseracts for a quarry. And I thought Tesseracts were going to be a lot more work. But apparently Greg has not gotten a hold of them yet because nothing's changed. Tin, hardened glass, and diamond. Then we fill it up. And silver, electrum, and lead. I've got tons of that. Not a problem at all. Uh, let's see. I don't need the liquid, but the item one. Again, iron, glass, redstone. I have everything I need. This is not a problem. Um, so, I need to get my energy tesseracts up and get my item tesseracts. But then, if I'm going to be sending stuff back here, then the thing was, I don't want rooms full of chests, you know, and throwing stuff away and all that. So, we need storage, a better storage, which of course means... Emmy. So, I need crystals, and I need chipsets, and I needed to do this anyway. And the next thing I looked at was lasers. Easy day. And assembly table. Again, easy day. So, uh, we're going to call this one here, and I'm going to start doing the prep work and making some of our items and, and such for this. But it is time to make a laser, and so we can start making our chipsets, and then we can basically try to move forward to a quarry and an Emmy storage system. I don't know exactly how far into that we'll get in this next episode. But that is the plan. That is our next thing is to try and, and get a quarry going. And then we're basically going to start it running up here. I'm going to figure out where the next dome's going. And we'll do a 64 by 64 pretty much on a corner of what the next dome is going to be. Take it all the way down, move it to the right. Basically, there'll be four of them based on the same location. So we're going to dig out the entire area for our next dome, including the outlying areas of it. Then we'll go in with a filler and put in like a false layer around the 41, 42 layer again, which is where our, our floor will be. Maybe make it a few blocks thick. And that way we'll be able to start working our next one. And then, of course, we'll be able to interlink it and figure out from where it is because we're going to have like a glass tunnel that's going to be linking it to take us to the next one. And then at that point, we'll have to decide what what biome that is going to be. So, anyway, those are our long-range plans. And actually, so is this. I still need to build my house. So I think I'm going to hold off on the house, though, until I've gone through and and basically got my quarry done, because I, I want to have access to all the different blocks that I want and not feel hampered at all. And we may end up using a bit of the... Uh, well, we can't yet. That's kind of another reason I'm waiting, too, is I still want to be able to use the clay. So, but we'll see. We're, like I said, we're going to work on down here. We're going to work on getting the lasers and the quarries going. So that's our, our future plan and our ME storage system. So, anyway, that is the plan. Here's where we are so far. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. All right, we have finally started to tech it up. Uh, man, this Greg tech is definitely a lot of fun. It's definitely made me work to get to this point. I think it's a tipping point now, though, so I think if I wanted to, I could just go crazy overboard. So I'm going to try and keep it, you know, we're still going to keep slowly building up, and instead of turning this dome into my giant base, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to try and move towards my next one, so... Um, but yeah, I, I think this turned out really well. It's a good start and a good stepping off point so we can start to uh, move on into some of the deeper stuff. 
Up in the top right corner, you will see we have some scenes from last episode, Killing the Dragon. I had a great time with the guys. Uh, went pretty quick, but we, uh, we did down him, and now the end is open for expansion, and uh, maybe, maybe we'll do something about uh, setting ourselves up an uh, ender ender, and, or something along those lines, so we can start getting some good experience. In the bottom right, um, you'll see we have uh, scenes from uh, the first season of Burpcraft Feed the Beast. So go ahead, click on that. That'll take you to playlists. Uh, you can go look at some of our older stuff. And the top right, the clicking on that will, of course, take you to the playlist of our current season of Burpcraft Feed the Beast with Fallen Dice Season 2. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.